There's a class called Managing Growing Enterprises in the CES department. I got into a section with Jim Ellis. And uh, I, I'll never forget the day that we talked about firing people and sort of how, when, where to have that conversation. And each of us had come up with our own dialogue. And we'd gone through it with some of our classmates in a smaller group. And then we'd kind of talked it through in class. And we all were feeling pretty comfortable with this. And then Jim read his sort of firing statement, you know, how, what he might say to somebody. And I think there was a standing ovation in the room. And each of us were like, well, how do we get a copy of that? <laughs> One thing that has surprised me is how accessible professors are. I can't. I can't even recollect how many times I've asked a professor to have coffee, have lunch, meet up with me one-on-one. -on -one. And these are highly esteemed professors who have a lot of research to do, who have a lot of responsibilities. And I've never been turned down. I um, really enjoyed the critical analytical thinking course. Um, in particular, one of our first classes was um, we saw the movie Who Killed the Electric Car and then had a discussion about um, so where the, the strategic burden lies in terms of, um, well, I mean, we were answering the question, who, who actually did kill the electric car? And I, th I thought it was really interesting because it kind of tied into my, into my long-term career interests of incorporating environmental issues into business and really examining issues uh, of sort of where that responsibility lies. Does it lie within business, within the regulatory framework? Um, and discussing that with my classmates was, was really interesting. Professor Garcelona was the study trip advisor for the Ghana study trip. And as you know, he was the distinguished professor winner this year. And he showed that on this trip. Um, this was the first time that I could have a personal interaction with a faculty member. Garcelona was also my CAD advisor. So I'd had him as a professor and then as a study trip advisor. Um, he was so inspirational on this trip that I am going to lead a study trip next year to Philippines and Thailand, and he will be the study trip advisor on that one as well. One of the best experiences I've had to date was working with uh, two professors, Bill Meehan and Chuck Holloway, in designing a course all about um, sort of late 20s uh, developmental uh, stages, where, whereby we talk about, you know, what, what things do students of our age need to be doing to help get themselves on the right foot in their career? And what are the biggest determinants in, in finding happiness and enjoyment through their career? So uh, the conversation moves quickly from what's best in a sort of a, a traditional career function to what's best in a, on a deeper emotional level, which I think is a very, makes Stanford a very special place. One of my favorite class, classes was uh, Professor Grossbeck's Managing Growing Enterprise. I thought it was about more about how to, uh, uh, how to use the analytical managerial skills in managing a growing enterprise. But uh, surprisingly, uh, it was uh, more about how to work with people. And how to respect people throughout one's career. The Extreme Affordability class taught by Jim Patel is a, it's a really, it's a phenomenal class. And what they try to do is they try to take cross-functional teams um, to be able to get the expertise from engineering, product design, and the MBA all together to design innovative solutions to uh, help people in extremely poor situations, um, help them empower them to lift themselves out. So it's not a handout, it's like a business solution to the problem. Uh, and so the team I worked with, we developed a uh, food solar dryer. Um, and what that allows you to do, there's a big problem right now for, for poor farmers in Ethiopia. They'll produce uh, all these crops, but they'll lose 30% of their crops due to spoilage because they can't move them in the market fast enough. Because when they harvest their crops, everybody else is harvesting their crops. So they have all this, this flood in the market of, of produce. But if you can dry that food and preserve it for three to six months down the line, then not only is there a lack of um, supply in the marketplace, but you can, obviously you can command a much higher price for that dried uh, fruit as well. And so this allows the farmer to capture the full value of his crops. I had an opportunity to work with Professor Jeff Pfeffer in writing two business cases, which was just a wonderful experience. Um, he, one of the cases that we worked on was for his Paths to Power class and I was called upon by the case writing department over the summer because I spoke Spanish 
Um, and I think that was probably the main draw for asking me to do this. But the opportunity was just such a, a rich way to learn firsthand a little bit more about all of the work that goes into the cases that we really just take for granted and use in class on a daily basis.